Good afternoon, everyone. This is CJ Salisberg, your program reporter at Silver Heights Neighbor Association, coming to you from our YouTube channel. Woo! Thanks for checking us out, folks. I really appreciate all the support that we're getting from everybody that's come to our YouTube channel. We're also super thankful. Thank you all so very much, especially with all the fun stuff going on in the world right now. We really appreciate the support, and we just love bringing our programs to you because we just love having you at our place. But once we can get back there, I can't wait to see everyone. Until then, we're going to bring you a real, real, real fun, ex fun ex science experiment for our week three of SNA Summer Camp in a box, which is box two, okay? So what we're going to need here, folks, we're going to need a few things. I'll tell you what we're doing in just a sec. I'll make sure we got it all first. Hello? This is my favorite color, and this is food color, and we should have some around the household, I hope somewhere. Now, we've provided you folks with something called an Alka-Seltzer tablet. You should have, I think there's two in here. Yeah, I feel like there's two in there, so we can do this experiment twice. Look at that, eh? Woo! Now, this can go either way. You can either use a clear glass, or, like I'm doing, I'm just going to use a water bottle. It's about halfway finished, okay? So I just opened up the cap, took a sip, took off the... Label here, bada bing, bada boom, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to be making our own DIY lava lamps at home. Amazing, right? It's going to be awesome. So once you've got your water halfway done in your glass or jar or whatever you're using, you're gonna take the lid off. If it's not already off, of course, I didn't want to spill it on the table. So that wouldn't have been good. And you're going to grab, mine's industrial size, so I apologize. This is just plain old vegetable oil, okay? So we provide you with, uh, obviously, not as much as this. This is like three liters worth. You're not going to need three liters worth of uh, oil for this one, folks. So you should have a little squirty pouch. I, unfortunately, don't have one right now, which is kind of a bummer. But I've got the next best thing, a handy-dandy funnel, which fits in the cup. Perfect. Look at that. So I'm going to do it this way, but you folks can just follow along with me, all right? So water is about halfway. And the reason that we're putting the water in first and the oil separately is because, that's right, folks, it separates. The oil sits on top of the water. So if we pour the oil in first and then the water, we'd have to wait a solid 15, 20 minutes for that reaction to work. And you know what? We could wait that long, but that'd be kind of boring to sit in here listening to me talk for 15 minutes about nothing. I won't do that to you, folks. Don't worry. We're in the experiments instead. Awesome. So hopefully you're not using a giant vat of this like I am. So be very careful. We'll make sure it goes nice and slow, okay? So as you can see, as I'm pouring it in, the oil's already starting to sit on top of the water. That's a good sign. Oh, that drain in there. Awesome. We'll get close up in a sec here, folks. I just want to keep as much oil off the table as possible. Awesome. All right. So make sure you put the lid back on your oil, otherwise that goes all over the floor. Ooh, it's going to be fun. Awesome. Put that off to the side. So I'll we'll bring this a little closer to you, folks. So as you can see from here, all down here, still clear. That's our water, right? All this funky yellow stuff, that's our oil. The reason why, like I told you earlier, because if we had done it the other way around, what would be happening right now is we a whole bunch of bubbles go and everything would be, 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 be super boring, super slow. We don't really want to do that, right? Exactly. Perfect. So now the fun part we're going to get into, we're going to take our handy dandy food coloring. Watch your fingers, please. So this stuff can stain. It's all good. We're going to add a couple drops. I'm going to add in about six drops to mine into the oil. So watch what happens when you put the food coloring in the oil. You're going to notice something. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you're watching, you'll see that it starts at the top of the oil and it drops straight down. And now it's just sitting right above where the oil and water are meeting right here, okay? So I'll add one more, bring it a bit closer for you folks. Give me real close up here, check this out. There goes the drop. And there it drops. Ooh, pretty sweet, eh? Awesome. Now, I'm doing this at like in the afternoon, so it's pretty bright outside. I've done this at nighttime where you put your little light underneath it and it becomes like a full authentic one. 
Fortunately, due to the light time and things like that, I'm not going to be able to do that today, but I would suggest you folks try it at home. And I got oil all over my fingers. Opening this is going to be a bit tricky. Oh, I got it. Come on, you. Awesome. All righty. So, as you can see, the size of this tab, it's not going to fit on top, right? So you're going to take this thing, you're going to break it up into different pieces, okay? Move that off to the side. I'll move this back for you, folks. So as you can see, I've got a bunch of different little food coloring bubbles sitting right at the end of that, right on the cusp of falling into the water, right? So everyone is ready for the fun part? Here comes the really fun part, guys and girls. Ugh. I'm going to take half of the tablet. It should be able to pop right. Okay, perfect. I've got enough space here. Alrighty. We're going to watch the magic happen here, folks. You ready? We're counting down in three, two, one. Now that's starting to fizz, which is now causing the oil to start going up. Food coloring comes running down. And as you can see all up in here, our bubbles are bouncing around like crazy, folks. Look at this go. So what the Alka-Seltzer is doing is it's making bubble fizzies in the bottom of the water. And then when it reacts, up into the oil because it's got to go up the top of course right what's happening is the oil is catching all the food coloring and water bubbles and it's making it look like our very own bubble lamp so we'll let this one just run out pretty awesome pretty sweet so you can do this with less water more oil i kind of like a 50 50 split because less of a cleanup less more less oil that i have to use which is nice for me because i'd much rather clean up water than oil and now if I hold this up to you folks, we got little bubblies all sitting inside there, right? Look at that. And then the bottom water is also blue or pink or red or whatever color you're using at home, okay? Now I highly suggest you do not drink this stuff. It's water and oil. It's not going to taste very good. It's going to be all fizzy and bubbly. Not very good. So I'm going to go for the second one because I just like doing this experiment a lot, right? Everyone ready for this one? Here we go. Three, two, one. Hits the bottom, and here we go, folks. Check it out, see? Awesome, so you're gonna get some big blobs going in there, you're gonna get a bunch of little ones blobbing too. And as you can see, over there it goes. Over time, you're gonna get the one, the real lava lamp, where they blip, 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 and then when they hit the top and break off in the little bubbles, and come back, yeah, people, know, I think you know what I'm talking about here. They're going to do that. You're getting the exact same thing occurring inside here right now. See? Bloop. 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 Look at it go, folks. You're getting your big ones, your small ones, and all your little bubbles. Everything in between. Look at that. Now, like I said, if you want to try it later at night, you can put a light underneath it. And it's a really good show. Trust me. It's awesome. Something to do with your parents tonight. Look at that, folks. Awesome. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed the DIY lava lamp experiment it's one of my personal favorites thank you all again so much for checking out our youtube channel we really appreciate all the support that you're giving us i hope everyone's staying safe and this is cj from silver right saying have a wonderful day take care everyone